That's a good question. Um, evidently, some of the kinetics of uh, the aging reactions are dependent upon um, the pH, and at a higher pH, the, the wines will oxidize and fall apart faster. So, higher acidity wines tend to have lower pH, and they, they tend to then be preserved better. Um, if we're relying upon SO2 at some point, particularly with a white wine, to, to help keep the wine fresh over a long period of time, the, the SO2 is more effective um, at lower pH at levels. Personally, I just think the wines taste better at a little lower pH, and uh, as they get older and uh, the angles in the wine begin to relax, you need to, to have a, a certain number, uh, amount of angle in that wine for it to taste fresh and, and lively in your mouth, and acidity is a wonderful thing to have for that. So um, for those two reasons, both perceived uh, for, for chemical reasons as well as just perceived liveliness and, and you know, ma lip smacking goodness, I, I think to have a reasonable amount of acidity is a very good thing. Olivier Humbrecht talked about the importance of the relation between pH and acidity and not taking just acidity or just pH. Can you give a Chemistry 101 view of what pH is and specifically what different levels of pH do to the wines? pH is very easy to read in a wine and I look at that as kind of the brightness of the wine. The strength or the, the, the brightness of the acidity. The acidity measurement would be more the strength of the acidity. Maybe an analogy would be like the speed of the car would be the pH, and uh, the amount of load it could carry is the acidity. There's a relationship between um, pH and acidity levels, but as far as what you perceive on your mouth, um, they're somewhat different. It's dependent upon the strength of the organic acids, and without getting too into that, for those of us that, that haven't taken organic chemistry, it's about the strength of the acidity. If you're given the same acidity level, a lower pH wine has more activity of the, the acidic parts. So it seems that it's more apparent right on the attack. I look at that as speed. Whereas um, you could have something that has a very high pH and a high acidity. It doesn't seem as bright, but it does seem kind of sour, if that makes any sense. But it's a, maybe a freshness. It, you, you could look at it as a freshness issue. Lower pH would seem fresher than a wine at a higher pH. But it is confusing because they are so closely related, but it's different aspects of, of of acidity. Can you define pH? pH is the negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration at base 10. Can you that define pH? Lot, <laughs> <laughs> Can you define pH in terms that a government major would understand? Um, it might be the, the number of uh, the, the relative amount of free hydrogen ions floating around relative to the potential of that. You know, those hydrogen ions might be hanging on to stuff and you may not see it quite as much, and that's why maybe the, the freshness would be, uh, or my idea of freshness of acidity would be that there's, yeah, it's easy, a lot of these easy um, reactable hydrogen ions floating around. So it does seem, you know, really ver have a lot of verve, whereas um, um, if m more of those hydrogen ions are, are kind of stuck on to the organic acid molecule, they may not be quite as, as readily accessible to your palate and other th types of things even though they are there and you were to count them all, say, okay, hydrogen ions, you're all, all going to split off these organic acid molecules and we're going to run you through the door. Hydrogen ions go through this door, everybody else goes through this door, and you've got somebody clicking, counting all the hydrogen ions that go through. There, you could have the same number of hydrogen ions, but the amount of them that are free in a given um, cup, pair of liquids, um, it's going to seem different to you when you taste it because of how many of them are free. So you could test chemically for hydrogen ions and pH and taste very differently from the actual number that the sheet says hydrogen ions. Exactly. So you, you could vary one or the other and they will taste different to you. Probably a lot of the reason that that difference occurs is either just the, the amount of potassium that's in there and potassium ions themselves have some sort of, of taste to them, um, uh, tending toward maybe a, um, a bitterness or a sense, an easier sense of uh, bitterness in the wine. Um, either it accentuates the bitter things or it has it itself. I tend to think it has it itself, but uh, that may just be a misconception on my part. But nonetheless, a wine that has a lot of potassium ions in it, uh, hence a higher pH in me, it sense a little more bitterness um, in that wine.